Hey guys, on this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to the five string bass guitar. What is this extra string for? We're going to find out on this episode. Let's get to it. Hey friends, welcome back to Everything 101 Bass Guitar Lessons. So glad you're hanging out with me on this episode. I have a very short episode for you today because I'm basically just going to be explaining the five string bass guitar. Yeah. So, you know, a standard bass traditionally has been four strings. We've talked about those in the last few episodes. And um, so now here I am with a five string bass. Uh, what do we do with this extra string here? Well, first of all, I'm playing um, a not very expensive Alvarez five-string bass. Um, as you can see, it is also red. Um, <laughs> I tend to like the color red, I guess, on guitars. But uh, yeah, this is, is kind of a red. And the other bass I was playing, um, the Epiphone is red, and my new Schecter is red. But anyways, <clears throat> I guess I like red. All right, so if you're looking at a five-string bass, um, I'm going to explain how this works. You now have six string basses, seven string basses. You have all kinds of different bass guitars now. And that's cool, man, because we have so many really cool options now. But every time you get a, a guitar or a bass guitar with a new string on it or an extra string that you're not used to, you have to learn, okay, who's the new guy? Which one of these guys is the new guy that didn't belong here before? And how is it tuned? Okay. In this case, if you look at a five string bass, typically this top string right here, the lowest sounding string, he's the new guy. Yeah, he's not the one that was in the last video, okay? In the last video, it was from here down, okay? So we've added this lower sounding string um, higher up on the guitar, but lower sounding. So this, the question is, how is it tuned? Well, this is a low B. It has a very low sound to it, okay? But it is tuned with the same logic that the other strings are tuned to. So this is a, this is a B, this is a C, okay? First fret is gonna be a C because we know there's no flat or sharp in between a B or a C. So first fret is gonna be a C. All right, then second fret is gonna be a C sharp or a D flat. Third fret is gonna be a low D. Yeah, sounds really cool. And then we go to either a D sharp or an E flat, because they're the same. And then fifth fret is E. Okay, so remember when we were talking about how to tune your bass, I was saying the fifth fret is the same, well actually in the second video as well, the fifth fret is the same note as the next string open. Okay, so this follows the same logic. So this low B is gonna give you a nice option um, to really rumble a little bit because it just has a super cool sound to it. You have a song that it's got a, a nice B and you just go down and hit that thing and you've got a nice sound system and it just rumbles. And one of the things I like about the five string more so than a four string is the ability to hit a C or a D or a B down below what you're used to because we're used to hitting a D right here. And you know, that sounds, it sounds like a bass, but it doesn't have the bottom really low kick to it that you might want in certain songs. And so, when you have a five string, you can throw down like this, you can go down and hit this D, and it just rumbles, man. It just sounds really good. Same for this C. Just sounds really good. All right, so that is really uh, how the five string bass works. Again, it's the same logic. Fifth fret is the same as the next string open. So you can think in the same way. Now, like I said before, when you start adding strings beyond the five, get into a six string or a seven string, whatever, you gotta take those step by step. All right, who's the new guy and how's it tuned? Okay, so 
chances are it's probably going to be tuned a lot like a guitar. So, but anyway, um, that's one of the awesome benefits of playing a five string is that you just have so many cool options. All right. Well, guys, if you're, if you have a five string, that's how you, that's how you do it. That's what you do with this new guy down here. Okay. Um, but practice, practice your notes, your finger positions, keeping your first fret on the first, first finger on the first fret, second on the second, et cetera, like that. Keep that good finger position and just start practicing those notes and you're going to be rocking in no time. Well, I'll see you on the next lesson and I wish for all your family and friends and yourself peace and blessings and I'll see you soon, friends.